The new Minecraft has recently been released for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Now what does this mean? This means there are many glitches and many different things to explore on it. You may be thinking, it's just going to be exactly the same as the old version, but that's not correct. There are many new features that we have previously not encountered on older consoles. First thing that's different between the console versions is the world size. The world on the PlayStation 4 edition of the game is 34 size bigger than the old world. People who have previously owned the game, digital or disc, on the PlayStation 3 can now upgrade for a cheaper price to the PlayStation 4 edition. For people who have not had the game on the PlayStation 3 system, can buy the game for $12.99 on PSN Store. Because the game is so new, there can be many glitches and exploits that aren't supposed to occur. These are things such as randomly generated buildings, villages that are floating in air, and all sorts. Many people on the PlayStation 3 edition have experienced problems when they tried to join up with their friends to play Minecraft online. It may have kicked them out of game or just simply not let them join. These problems are now fixed on the PlayStation 4. If you have purchased any content such as skin packs and texture packs on PlayStation 3 edition of Minecraft, you can carry them over to your PlayStation 4 for no extra cost. One of the main problems that I realised when I was playing the game is, you can't really get used to the controller straight away. It's a bit different getting used to it. If you go from a PlayStation 3 controller, you will know the difference. The analog sticks are much harder to move around. This may not be for everyone, just for me. These are just my opinions on the game. While I was playing the game, I also realised the colours may be a little bit better. Though it's hard to tell because you can't really get much better than they already were. The loading screen at the beginning of the game is still quite long. Though we have to consider that the game is generating a massive area and needs a lot of time to do that. I think it is a little bit shorter than it used to be, but it's still quite long. You also cannot cross-play. This means if someone's playing the game on PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, and you've got it for the next-gen consoles, you cannot join them in their game. That's all on my review of Minecraft so far. There are many patches and many updates to come to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and once we get anything new, I'll keep you updated. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos. To help our channel grow, please subscribe and like, favourite, whatever you want to do to the video. Share it with other people, share it with your mates and everything. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it guys and see you in the next episode.